Okay, so this experiment, we're gonna use some chicken bones that we cleaned and dried. <laughs> and we're gonna place them inside of this jar and pour vinegar into the jar. <laughs> so what do you think is gonna happen when we do that? When we pour the vinegar in here and let it sit for a few days? Do you think we can maybe make them bend? Yeah. Can you bend it now? Try to bend the thick one. No, too hard. Right? Yeah. So after we're done with this experiment, they're gonna be rubbery bones. Yeah. You think we can make them rubbery? Yeah. And bendy? Yeah. Okay, let's see. How about we put the bones in the jar? Okay, put the bones in the jar. You're gonna hold the jar while I pour the vinegar in, right? Yeah. You wanna smell the vinegar? I you don't want to smell it? You take a small sniff? No. You sure? No. Don't smell the because it's very strong. <laughs> Good, Jonathan. And it stinks. All right. Don't want to take a whiff of that. Smart boy. <laughs> He's scared of the vinegar. You want to cover up the bones. Bye. Right. Cover it all in the vinegar. There. I think I'm gonna put the lid on it and we're gonna wait a couple of days or maybe a few days. Do you know what a couple is? Yeah. What? How many is a couple? Uh, 45. 45? <laughs> oh man, it's two! <laughs> How many is a few? Uh, uh, 45, 46. <laughs> That's not even a number. 45, 46, 56. I don't know what you just said. <laughs> a couple is two, silly goose. And then a few is three. So we'll wait about two to three days. And then we'll take our bones out. See if they bend. Mm. Did they bend now? No, sir. Let's see. Yeah, let's see. Can you bend it? Oh, the table almost <laughs> knocked over. <laughs> you can't bend it yet. We have to wait a couple of days. Okay. I think we should wash our hands. I bet your hands stink now. Why don't you smell your hands? <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> so it's been actually about seven days, right? Yeah. So we waited a whole week yeah. instead of waiting the couple or few days that we said we were going to wait. So let's go ahead and see. <gasps> dun dun dun. How our bone is. Okay, so why are we wearing gloves, Jonathan? Oh, Pippa, I do I get ass on me. I, I thought I get itchy. That's right. I thought I get weak itchy. Yes, because vinegar is a mild acid. So we don't want to irritate our hands. <laughs> oh, look, it's up against the glass. Let me see if I can. Ugh, I got it. Yeah. Can you bend this? Yeah. Do you think it, it's going to bend? Yeah. Can I have it? Okay, let's see. Can I bend it? Whoa. Let's see. Oh wow. That really, really bends. <laughs> what about the thicker one? Okay. I don't know. This one feels pretty hard. What do you think? Wait, look, ready? Spring. <laughs> it springs back. <laughs> It bends like rubber. Why does that happen? Pick it up your gravity. <laughs> gravity? <laughs> gravity doesn't have anything to do with it. It's the acid. Remember, silly goose? The acid eats oh, yeah. away. Yes, the bones are going to end again. The bones are going to end again. It eats the calcium in the bones, making them soft. That. Oh, look, the letter J for Jonathan. Oh, and Jesus. Oh, snap. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching our video, our science experiment. And try it out at home. Try it out with different types of bones, different thickness or thinness. Try it out with different time frames. We had seven days for ours. You can lengthen it or shorten it, see if that makes a difference. And have fun with it. Get messy, maybe not get messy. 
You don't really want to get messy with this one. Yeah, don't get messy. 